don't know the status of that, but um, it's not going to change anything. Uh, yo, if, if he's not able to play, we're going to miss no. Uh, but next guy up, uh, like like it's been all season when Jalen went down, uh, other guys have stepped in defensive line, so you got to account for that. Tom, we got to see Jalen back on Saturday. Just, I know he was still limited, but what did you think of the impact he had with you guys on the line? He was, he was able to get pressure on uh, on the quarterback. He was able to get we get back there three or four times. Um, he was out there uh, limited snaps, but the plays that he was out there, he definitely uh, made an impact. There was always talk of not making a game bigger than what it is, but it's number one versus number two. It's for the East, and uh, you guys are playing here at home. How big do you think this game is, and maybe the atmosphere that you're probably expecting on Saturday? Uh, we know it's going to be a big game, but we we can't treat it like like it's like it's the last game of the season. We have to treat it like it's another game. Uh, prepare prepare like any other week. Not not stress anything. Not over not override anything. Just go out there and play football. The atmosphere. Yeah, it's awesome. it's going to be it's going to be crazy. Probably like 2019. We played Notre Dame. So one one of those weeks again. Uh, a lot of guys on this team just had their home, like had their game against like home or home state in Florida. How do you feel going up going up against uh, Tennessee with it being so big? And um, it's, it's always an honor playing against uh, my home state, but uh, just like I'm, I'm here with these guys, and I'm just gonna focus on uh, playing, being, around, being around my teammates and uh, focusing on that. Yes, I mean, we've heard so much about Tennessee's offense and what they've been able to do this year. As a defense, how excited are you all to uh, you know, play an offense like that? the best in the country. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great challenge for us, you know. Um, you know the tempo. That's, that's, we're not gonna let that affect us. We're gonna uh, play our play our game. And just stick stick to the uh, things we've been taught all season. Just, just play football. How much have y'all uh, worked on Tennessee and Tempo? I don't know. You stole some time during the bye week, and, and how much does what they do kind of affect you all? What you have to prepare for in terms of not substituting as much, maybe staying on the field than you normally do. Well, in the bye week as much, we was trying to focus on Florida, uh, not not focus, not looking uh, ahead. Um, I wouldn't say we've, we've honed in on it a lot, but we'll probably do it a little bit this week. But we're just going to stick to uh, playing football. Tom, Kirby was asked about conditioning and basically said, you know, it's, it's a year-long thing. It can't be done in just a week. Can you just speak to the conditioning you guys have been through, even going back to the summer, to get ready to, to play another tempo team like Tennessee? Uh, we said a thing out throughout the summer. It was, uh, it was, a, it was a quote. It was like, winter's going to come asking what you did all summer. And that's just like, saying what work did you put in during the summer for when times like December and January come when, when your best football is needed in November. They remember what you do in November. So I think that, that's what I think about that. He's on another tempo question before Tennessee goes. I mean, you got to play these guys last year. You saw Hendon Booker last year. From the tempo standpoint, is it very similar to what you all saw last year? Are they going faster this year? What can you tell from that aspect? I feel like it's very similar. Um, you know, teams always try to switch switch things up every year from year to year, but uh, I think every I think every team has to uh, switch things up every year. But um, I don't feel like it's a big difference. Yeah, uh, with Jamal Davis Johnson and with Nolan possibly being out, he's going to take on a bigger leadership role. How have you seen him excel in that role this year, and what has allowed him to become that so early on in his career for Georgia? Um, I've seen his laser focus go to a, like go to a different level throughout the season. Um, he's showing me little flashes of the Kobe right now, or to where he's like being that that vocal leader even in meetings. Um, he's he he wants he wants to be in that he wants to put everybody in that best position to win. And like and when he when he plays at his best, he's very good. You came in with Bill Norton, Bill Norton, right? Mm -hmm. What have you just being from Tennessee? What have you seen with his progression over the last couple of years? And what kind of relationship y'all have being from the same state? Um, we actually were roommates. Uh, my first. Two and a half years being here, um, he's a great guy uh, off the field, but um, on the field as well. Uh, he's he's very strong at the point of attack. Like yeah, he just hasn't had a lot of opportunities to go out and play, but um, the opportunities that he's had that I've seen in practice and other games, like he's he's definitely done his job. So his time's coming. We got to see a good bit of Chaz on Saturday once Noah went out. Just what did you think of his performance and what he brings to that position? Um, I think of Chaz like another guy like Dan Jackson, um, Lab McConkey. Like he's he's just been a hard working guy for the last two years he's been here. Um, uh, is, is a guy that kind of injuries have kind of kind of hindered him a little bit, but he finally got his opportunity to go uh, to go play. And just like last year uh, against Tennessee, he got his uh, sack. So he got one last week against uh, Florida. So I think it was a big thing for him.
Miss Notre Dame the best atmosphere you've been a part of here at Sanford Stadium? And if so, like, what do you remember most about that night? Uh, yes, Notre Dame was the biggest game I've ever been to here at the University of Georgia. And it was just, even if you're on the sideline, you, you couldn't even t look, talk to the guy beside you. It was so loud. Like on like on the like guys on the field like after the game they were like dude I could not hear anybody like we literally had to use signals to talk to each other because it was that loud so every time people ask me like about the hype of a game or about the uh, the feel of a game I always I refer back to that game. Is that bearhead that the uh, personal foul uh, penalty after the timeout had been called the other day was that kind of a lesson learned type deal and how do you kind of react to? Talking, I guess, talking to each other after that. Yeah, um, I think it was definitely a lesson learned because we kind of looked at things like that uh, the past week. Because uh, even in the NFL, they're, handed, they're, uh, they're honing in on uh, protecting the quarterback, and that was the thing we kind of uh, focused on last week. But it, it, it was definitely a lesson learned. I know you talked about the environment at home and how big that can be for you guys a couple times, but how much can that really affect you guys on defense and their offense when the crowd is that loud and that into it? That's what we need. Um, when our when our fans are in it, like we're def like that's when we want to go play our best football. So we we, we know we're gonna need everybody on Saturday at three thirty. So like I, I, and I asked I asked the fans like please come out. We need we're going to need ninety four thousand ninety five thousand strong for this. Uh, with this being such a big matchup, how important is the veteran presence of Chris Smith? Uh, Chris is going to be a, a big, a big help in this game, uh, as, as well as like for the for the back for the DBs uh, specifically, because he's going to know how to uh, get guys in line, especially when they're trying to go fast. Like um, everybody getting home after the play, don't celebrate on second or third down because that's when they're going to want to go for they want to go fast. So uh, he's going to definitely uh, be a big help. Question from Zion. Okay, Zion, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Zion.